All right. So module five is the continuation again of our previous topic, which is uh, trigonometric integrals. And also we're going to apply also other topics like, of course, the basic integration and uh, by parts substitution. So last time we already have had uh, algebraic substitution, but there is also some examples wherein uh, we encountered some functions, even trigonometric, but uh, this topic is also one of the methods that we can use to find to integrate the given function. So this is integration of algebraic functions by trigonometric substitutions. So at the end of this module, the students will be able to determine what case to be applied to evaluate the following integrals. So for this topic, there is also cases but we only have three cases and it's up to you i mean you're going to identify what cases is applicable in the given function and then apply the integral formulas you still need the basic uh, integral formulas for this topic and then evaluate the following indefinite and definite trigonometric integrals but in my examples i only focus on indefinite okay since for definite it's just a continuation once you get the uh your answer the integral of the given function you just need to substitute apply the fundamental theorem of calculus so you have already seen how some techniques on integration require a change of variable substitution so in this section, you will learn substitutions involving trigonometric functions that lead to trigonometric integrals. So we have here substitution involving trigonometric functions because uh, we're going to apply here the, the Sokotowa okay, or the idea for right triangle and then uh, that lead to trigonometric integrals. So your answer is in theta at this time but since the given is in terms of x like dx something like that you're you need to uh go back i mean you uh you change your variable into x because when you solve it that is in terms of theta okay and then we're going to use trigonometric integrals, the, uh, the last topic we had, case one to case nine. Okay, so we will show with three cases how changing a variable by a trigonometric substitution often en enables us to evaluate an integral containing an expression of one of the following forms where A is greater than zero. So A here is always A... Uh, it's always greater than zero, so it means it's always a positive integers. Okay, so these are the three cases. The first case we will encounter if you have this form square root of a squared minus x squared. And the other case, at case two, we have the square root of a squared plus x squared. And the third case, we have square root of x squared minus a squared. So let's tackle the three cases. So case one talks about uh, the integral contains an expression of the form square root of a squared minus x squared. So you're going to use case one if you encounter this kind of form or this expression square root of a squared minus x squared where a is greater than zero introduce a new a new variable which is theta by letting x be equal to a sine theta where theta is between 0 to uh, 1 half pi if x is greater than or equal to 0 and theta is between negative 1 half pi and 0 if x is less than 
zero. So in this case, with x equals a sine theta, so if we let our x be equal to a sine theta, when we get the derivative of x, the derivative of a sine theta is a cosine theta d theta. And cosine theta, that is greater than or equal to zero because theta is between negative one-half pi and one-half pi. Moreover, the square root of a squared minus x squared, that is equal to the square root of. So since you let x be equal to a sine theta, when we square that, that is a squared minus sine squared theta. So when we follow this form, square root of a squared minus, we let x be equal to a sine theta. When we get the square, the square root of that, that is a squared minus sine squared theta, factor out their common term, which is a squared. So we'll have a squared multiplied by one minus sine squared theta. So when we multiply this, this is the answer. So a squared times one, that is a squared. A squared times negative sine squared theta, that is negative a squared sine squared theta. And when we use identity, one minus sine squared theta, that is equal to cosine squared theta. When we get the square root of a squared cosine squared theta, since the operation is multiplication, we can simplify this radical. So the square root of a squared, that is a, the square root of cosine squared theta, that is cosine theta. Okay. Therefore, square root of a squared minus x squared, that is equal to a cosine theta. Okay. So let's have an example. Mag-stop video na ako kasi bumabagal yung... Alright. So, number one example. All right, so number one example, the integral of square root of 9 minus x squared over x squared dx. So as you've noticed, uh, for this example, the value of a is greater than zero. Here, class, a is always the integers. So kahit magkabaliktad yun sila. So, yung integer, yun yung value ng a mo. So, if we let a squared be equal to 9, because here, we will have a squared minus x, minus x squared. So, we let a squared be equal to 9. Therefore, a is 3. Where 3 is greater than 0. And the form for number 1 is square root of a squared minus x squared. Therefore, we're going to use for number 1, case 1. Okay, and then for case one, it says there, we let x be equal to a sine theta. And our a here is three. Three sine theta. So this given, we're going to, uh, we're going to transform it into theta. Okay, because here the variable is in terms of x. So we're going to transform it into theta. And then square root of 9 minus x squared. Okay, so we're going to get the value of square root of 9 minus x squared. So we will have 9 minus. So when we square this, the square root of 3 sine theta, that is 9 sine squared theta, right? And then get the common term, which is 9. Factor out. So we will have 1 minus sine squared theta. 
And then simplify, apply here uh, identity, which is 1 minus sine squared theta that is equivalent to cosine squared theta. So when we simplify this square root of 9, that is 3. Uh, square root of cosine squared theta, that is cosine theta. Therefore, square root of 9 minus x squared, that is equal to 3 cosine theta. Okay, so the given, we're going to express that. in terms of theta, okay? So the given is equal to, that is equivalent to integral of square root of nine minus x squared, that is equal to three cosine theta. And dx, so when we get the derivative of x, the derivative of three sine theta is three cosine theta, d theta. Therefore, dx that is equal to 3 cosine theta d theta over x squared. When we squared this, that is equal to 9 sine squared theta. Therefore, x squared that is equal to 9 sine squared theta. When we simplify it, 3 times 3, that's 9. Divide by 9, so makakancel na yan. Okay? And when we simplify it, cosine theta times cosine theta d theta, that is cosine squared theta d theta over sine squared theta. When we apply identity, cosine squared theta over sine squared theta, that is cotangent squared theta, d theta. Using trigonometric integrals, one of the cases for cotangent, this is equivalent to when we apply uh, identity again. Cotangent squared theta, that is equivalent to cos, cos secant squared theta minus 1 d theta, right? And we distribute the integral sign in the d, d theta. We will have cos secant squared theta times d theta. That's the integral of cos secant squared theta d theta minus 1 times d theta. That is negative the integral of d theta and integrate. So in the formula, in the basic integral, the integral of cos secant squared theta d theta is negative cotangent theta minus the integral of d theta is theta plus c. But our answer is in terms of theta. But the given is in terms of x. So we need to replace theta by x. So using the... The knowledge that we know for right triangle, if uh, this one, if three, I know, if x is equal to three sine theta, we're going to apply here Sokotoa because we need to get cot cotangent theta, and we know that the Inverse of tangent, that's cotangent. So we, we're, we need to complete the table first, the value. So if x is equal to 3 sine theta, we divide both sides by 3. Therefore, sine theta, that is equal to x over 3. And sine theta class, that is opposite, opposite of this theta, which is x. And the hypotenuse is 3. Okay, and for this one, if square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to 3 cosine theta, divide both sides by 3. Cosine theta, that is cosine that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is 
square root of 9 minus x squared over 3. Okay? So when we get cotangent theta, cotangent theta is adjacent over uh, opposite, right? Okay, so we will have adjacent square root of, so negative square root of 9 minus x squared over adjacent over opposite, over 3. We don't know what is theta here. Uh, like, for example, we need to use this. So we say that sine theta is equal to x over 3. Therefore, when we get the theta, that is theta equal to, is equal to the inverse, right? The inverse of x over 3. That's how we get the theta, right? Or the angle. Therefore, here, minus theta that is equivalent to inverse sine or arc sine, arc sine x over 3 plus C. That is the answer. Any question for number one? Is that clear? Number one example. That is for case one. Case two. We don't have questions. We will proceed to case two. All right. For case two. The integrand contains an expression of the form square root of a squared plus x squared, where a is greater than zero. Introduce a new variable theta by letting x be equal to a tangent theta, okay, where theta is between zero and one half pi if x is greater than or equal to zero, and theta is between negative one half pi and zero if x is less than zero. So in this case, with x equals a tangent theta and the derivative of x is a secant squared theta d theta, as we all know that the derivative of tangent theta is secant squared theta d theta because theta is between negative one half, <coughs> excuse me, negative one half pi and one half pi, wherein secant theta is greater than or equal to one. Furthermore, square root of a squared plus x squared is equal to, so we will just follow this form, a squared and x squared, when we squared this, a tangent theta, the square root of a tangent theta is a squared tangent squared theta. And then factor out their common term, which is a squared, a squared times 1, that is a squared, a squared times tangent squared theta, that is, that is a squared tangent squared theta. Apply, uh, Identity again, we're in 1 plus tangent squared theta that is equivalent to secant squared theta. And then simplify this to square root of a squared secant squared theta is a secant theta. So for case 2, if the given integral is in this form, okay, the operation is addition sa loob ng radikan, you're going to use case 2. Okay, so case 1 minus. Diba kung natatandaan nyo, sa derivative ng tangent ay, ng inverse tangent ay plus sa ilalim, pero walang square root. Right? Sa sine, ang trigonometric, uh, no, the derivative of inverse sine minus naman siya. Nung nasa ilalim. Right? And dito sa case 2, 
pag nakakita kayo ng gantong form, you're going to apply case 2. And you let x p equal to a tangent theta. So let's have an example. All right, so number two example. Um, the given is, what is given? Integral of or square root of. All right, so number two example given is the integral of x uh, square root of x squared plus 5 dx. So since the given function has a form square root of uh, a squared plus x squared, we're going to apply here case 2. Okay, and for case 2 class, we let x be equal to, and our a squared that is equal to 5. Therefore, A is square root of 5, right? Squ square root both sides. So the value of A is square root of 5. Again, the value of A is always the integer, okay? So we let A be equal to square root of 5. For case 2, we let X be equal to A, which is square root of 5, tangent theta. And when we get the derivative of x, the derivative of square root of 5 tangent theta is square root of 5 secant squared theta d theta. And then uh, square root of x squared plus 5, that is equal to when we squared this square root of 5, the square root of square root of 5 tangent theta. So square root of square root of 5, that is 5. Square root of tangent theta, that is tangent squared theta. Therefore, x squared, that is equivalent to 5 tangent squared theta plus 5. All right, then factor out their common term, which is 5 multiplied by tangent squared theta. So 5, ta 5 multiplied by tangent squared theta, that is 5 tangent squared theta plus 1. Because 5 times 1, that is equal to 5. Then apply identity, tangent squared theta plus 1, that is equal that is equivalent to secant squared theta. And then simplify this. Square root of 5 secant squared theta, that is square root of 5 secant theta. So square root of x squared plus 5, that is equal to square root of 5 secant theta. So balik tayo sa givens. The integral of square root of x squared plus 5. So the integral of square root of x squared plus 5, that is equivalent to square root of 5 secant theta. And dx, that is, that is equal to square root of 5 secant squared theta d theta. And when we simplify it, square root of 5 times square root of 5, that is 5, right? According to properties under radical. So we'll have 5. And then secant theta times secant squared theta d theta, that is secant cubed theta d theta. We already uh, know the answer for this. 
the integral of second cube theta d theta. In our last topic, so balikan nyo yung case na yun sa in trigonometric integrals, that the integral of second cube theta d theta, we apply here integration by parts. Okay? Meron din, kasi pumasok din kasi siya diba sa trigonometric integrals kasi power to ng second theta, which is uh, sa nakuha natin class, ang sagot natin dyan ay one half second theta. Ipapakita ko ba yung sagot natin dyan nung nakaraan? One half ln absolute value of secant theta plus tan theta plus c plus c. So when we simplify it, we will have five times one half. That's five halves secant theta tan theta plus five times one half. 5 halves ln absolute value of secant theta plus tan theta plus C. Okay? And then, so kailangan natin kunin ang value ng secant theta and tangent theta. At dito, so let's draw again all right. So it says here that ito, so tangent. Uh, if x equals square root of 5 tan theta. So we divide both sides by square root of 5 using Sokotowa again. The tangent is opposite. Tangent theta that is equal to x over square root of 5. So opposite, opposite of, that, of this angle is x. And then the adjacent is square root of 5. Okay, and obviously this part, the hypotenuse, when you simplify this, that is square root of x squared. Pwede nyo naman ipakita, square, square root of x squared plus 5. Okay, so you simplify this para makuha ang secant theta. Secant theta, ang uh, reciprocal niyan ay si cosine. So you will have hypotenuse over adjacent. So you divide this both sides by square root of 5. Therefore, secant theta that is equal to square root of x squared plus 5 over square root of 5. Na ito siya, uh, hypotenuse over adjacent. Okay? So when you simplify it, so 5 squared, ang secant theta, so ipakita na nga natin, square root of x squared plus 5 that is equal to square root of 5 secant theta. Divide both sides by square, square root of 5. Okay, secant theta, that is hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse, square root of x squared plus 5 over adjacent square root of 5. So, sulat natin dito, secant theta, that is square root of x squared plus 5 over square root of 5. And then tangent theta, that's opposite over adjacent. Uh, sorry, opposite over adjacent, which is x over square root of 5 plus 5 halves ln. Then ganun pa din, square root of x squared plus 5 over square root of 5 plus x over square root of 5 plus c. And then simplify. 
this one, square root of 5 times square root of, times square root of 5, that's 5. So, makakancel na to, right? Kasi magiging 5. So, cancellation. So, ang magiging sagot ay x square root of x squared plus 5 over 2. Right? Or 1 half x square root of x squared plus 5 plus... 5 halves ln. Uh, simplify this. Or sige, yan na lang ang ano natin. Square root of x squared plus 5. Or pwede, dahil similar naman sila class. Right. Similar fraction. So that is also equal to, pagsamay na lang natin x plus square root of x squared plus 5 over, so this is 5, right? Plus c. Okay, kung kaya nyo pang isimplify yan, pwede naman. Pero basta ang sagot nyo, naka, in terms of x na, tulad ng given, okay na siya. Dito kasi kaya pang isimplify. Dito medyo mahaba. Alright. So that is the answer for number 2 using case 2. Any question? Mag-end na tong meeting. Question so far. All right, so we're going to continue last cases. Last case, sorry. All right, so let's continue. So this is the last case. So we'll have case three. The integrand contains an expression of the form square root of x squared minus x squared. Uh, sorry, square root of x squared minus a squared, where a is greater than zero. So, baka malito kayo sa case one and case 3, kasi pareho silang minus. So, it's just that here, x is greater than a. Kasi di ba, bawal mag, mas mababa ang value ni a kay a. Kasi magne-negative yung sagot sa radikan. So, therefore, here, x is greater than a. So, sa so case 1, yan. Mas malaki ang value ni a kay x. Okay? Para hindi mag-negative yung sagot. Kasi pag nag-negative, mag-undefined. Okay. For case 3, the integrand contain an expression of the form square root of x squared minus a squared, where a is greater than 0. Introduce a new variable theta by letting x equals a secant theta. So here, we let x be equal to a secant theta. Sa case 1, we let x be equal to a sine theta. So for here, we will have a secant theta. Where theta is between 0 and 1 half pi if x is greater than or equal to a. And theta is between negative 1 half pi and 0 if x is less than or equal to negative a. If we let x be equal to a secant theta, when we derive this one, the derivative of x is equal to the derivative of a secant theta. The derivative of secant theta is secant theta tangent theta d theta. So dx is equal to a secant theta tangent theta d theta. And tangent theta is greater than or equal to 0. Because either theta is between 0 and 1 half pi or theta is between pi and 3 halves pi, 
Moreover, square root of x square root of x squared minus a squared that is equal to so square root of uh, when we squared our x a secant theta when we squared this that is a squared secant squared theta minus a squared factor out their common term which is a squared a squared times secant squared theta that is a squared secant squared theta a squared multiplied by negative one that is negative a squared and then apply identity again, the geometric identity, secant squared theta minus 1, that is equivalent to tangent squared theta. And simplify this, square root of a squared, that is a, square root of tangent squared theta, that is tangent theta. Okay, so for case 3, square root of x squared minus a squared, that is equivalent to a tangent theta. So let's try example for number 3. All right, for number three, uh, the integral of dx over x cubed square root of x squared minus nine. So as you've noticed here, the value of x should be greater than the value of a. a squared here is equal to nine. So a is three, okay? Hindi pwedeng mas mababa sa... 3 ang value ni x kasi magne-negative ang loob. And still, a is greater than 0 because it's a positive integer. Okay? So for number 3 example, we're going to use case 3. Since the integrand, uh, the, the integrand is, has a form x squared minus a squared. So here for case 3, we let x be equal to a 3 secant theta. Okay, for case 3. And then when we get the derivative of x, the derivative of 3 secant theta, that is 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta. And Kunin natin ang value ng, ng nasa radical, radical symbol. So we will have square root of x squared minus 9. Okay. That is, when we get the square root of this, square root of 3, that's 9. Square root of secant theta, that is secant squared theta. Therefore, x squared, that is equivalent to 9 secant squared theta minus 9, so minus 9 equals, factor out their common term, which is 9, multiply by secant squared theta minus 1. And then simplify, apply again identity, secant squared theta minus 1, that is equivalent to tangent squared theta. So when we simplify this, square root of 9, that is 3, tangent, square root of tangent squared theta, that is tangent theta. So square root of x squared minus 9, that is equal to 3 tangent theta. And balik tayo sa given, the integral of dx, that is equal to 3 secant theta, tangent theta, d theta over x cube. So when you get the cube of this, 3 cube, that is 27. Cube of secant theta, that is secant cube theta. Square root of x squared minus 9, that is equal to <clears throat> 3 tangent theta. So let's simplify. 
Okay. So, we will have 1 over 27. So, let's put it outside the integral sign. 1 over 27, integral of, may mawawalang isang secant sa baba dito. So, ang matitira ay uh, d theta over secant squared theta or 1 over secant squared. This is also equal to 1 over 27 integral of 1 over secant squared theta d theta. When we apply identity, <clears throat> uh, 1 over 27 integral of 1 over secant squared theta that is equivalent to cosine squared theta. Please review your uh, identity, the fundamental identities, the basic, and then uh, using uh, last topic, trigonometric integral, cosine squared theta, that is cosine squared theta that is equivalent to 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 d theta. Okay. Cases. Ano nga bang cases yan? 7. Eight. Pakay ano na lang sa ano. Basta this, ito yung last natin topic. 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. That is cosine squared theta. And then, so ilalabas uli natin dito ang 1 half, right? This is also equal to 1 over 27. Yung isa, 1 half d theta. Right? And we distribute 1 over 27 in each term. Tapos kabila, ganun din. Plus, meron tayong 1 over 27. Meron din ditong 1 half plus. So, ilalabas na natin sa integral sign. Tapos, cosine 2 theta. D theta. Right? So, I'll just expand this one. And distribute 1 over 27. 1 over 27, we have here 1 half D theta. So, ito siya. 1 over 27 times 1 half integral of d theta plus 1 over 27. I'm sorry. This is so 1 over 27. Meron pa din tayong 1 half dito. Right? Integral of cosine 2 theta d theta. And then we're going to apply here uh, substitution again, you let u be equal to 2 theta. And the derivative of u is, the derivative of 2 theta is 2 d theta. Divide both sides by 2. Therefore, d theta, magkakaroon ka ulit ng another 1 half dito. Okay? d theta that is equal to 1 half du. So, hindi ka siya. So, when we simplify this, 1 over 27 times 1 half, that is 1 over 54 integral of d theta. Tapos ito pa, pag sinimplify natin to, ito ay equal sa, so 1 over 54 times another 1 half because d theta, that is 1 half du. So, may 1 half ulit integral of cos u du because cos u du. So this part that is equivalent to one half integral of cos u du. Then continue this part. So meron tayo. Ito na lang pala. Uh, the integral of d theta, that's theta, 1 over 54, 1 over 54 theta, 
and this one plus 1 over 54 times 2, it's 108. And then the integral of cos u is sine. Sine u plus c, right? So sine, ang u natin ay 2 theta plus c. Okay? And ang sagot ay naka theta pa. So we need to get the value of theta and even the sine. So when we draw it, para makuha natin ang sine, or this is also equal to, when we simplify it last, that is also equal to 1 over 54. 1 over 54. Multiply by theta plus 1 over 1 half. 1 half sine 2 theta plus C. And sine 2 theta using again identity. That is uh, one over fifty-four. One over fifty-four multiply by theta. So using identity class, this is also equal to sine theta plus sine theta cosine theta plus C. Pero pwede naman class, nimbawa hanggang dito yung sagot nyo, kinamita nyo na ng, kinuha nyo na yung value ng theta. I mean, you express this in terms of X. Pwede naman. So, inaano ko lang kasi para mas madali. May sine theta and cosine theta lang. So, when we draw again a triangle, a right triangle. Okay. So, balik tayo. Um, we let, if we let x be equal to, ang haba kasi, if we let x be equal to 3 secant theta, 3 secant theta. Therefore, we divide both sides by 3. Secant theta, that is equal to x over 3. So, for Sokatoa, so, ibig sabihin, ay sa bagay, cosine naman to class, kunin na, i-drawing na lang natin. Kung ang secant theta ay, opposite niya ay, ay cosine, hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse, that is x. And then, adjacent is 3. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay square root of x squared minus 9. Dito sa tangent. Divide both sides if square root of x squared minus... Class, sinisingit ko na kasi ang hirap pag nag-next page ako. Hindi makikita yung ibang sagot. So, divide both sides by 3. Ang tangent ay opposite over adjacent. Opposite. So, square root of x squared minus 9 over adjacent over 3. So, ibig sabihin, dito sa sagot natin, oh, we need to get tangent pa. Uh, dito tayo sa secant. Kung ang secant theta that is equal to, sensya na kayo ah, dito ko na yung susulat. Secant theta that is equal to x over 3, therefore theta is the arc, arc secant of x over 3. Okay. So 1 over 54 multiply by ang theta that is secant. Uh, arc secant x over 3 plus so sine theta that is opposite square root of x squared minus 9 over hypotenuse x tapos cosine yun naman kasha imumove ko lang plus
So, meron tayong 1 over 54 multiply by uh, inverse secant x over 3 plus ang sine theta natin ay opposite square root of x squared minus 9 over adjacent uh, hypotenuse which is x multiply by cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Ano ba? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Wala na tapos na. Hindi ko na naalam kung paano nakuha. <laughs> and then, uh, cosine that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, 3 over x. Plus C. Then, simplify. Let's check kung meron bang masisimplify. Ay, sorry po, ma'am. Naka-unmute po pala kausap po yung lola ko. <laughs> okay lang. Then, simplify it, class. Pwede pa ba natin i-simplify? Mm. This one, 3 and 54. Right? So, when we simplify, 1 over 54 multiplied by inverse secant x over 3, that is 1 over 54. This is the final answer. Inverse secant x over 3. Tapos. Plus. So, 1 over 54 multiplied by this one. Dahil magsisimplify na tayo. 1 over 54. So, 3 and 54, that's 18. 1 and 18. So, 1 over 18. Or, simplify na natin. Let's get 1 over 18. Um, so, dito, square root of, let's get square root of x squared minus 9 over x squared. Plus C. Okay, again, the final answer class uh, 1 over 54 multiply by inverse secant of x over 3. That's 1 over 54 inverse secant x over 3. Simplify this, one, o 1 over 54 and 3 over x. So we will have 1 over 18. 1 over 18. And 1 multiply by this. So ito na siya. Square root of x squared minus 9. Ito ay 18. 18 multiply by x squared. So over 18 x squared plus c. So the final answer is this one. One over 54 inverse secant x over three plus square root of x squared minus nine over 18 x squared plus c. Okay. So, ulitin ko na lang para Okay. So, again, for number T, the given is the integral of dx over x cubed square root of x squared minus 9. So we're going to use case 3 in this part because the value of x is greater than a. And we have the form square root of x squared minus a squared. Okay, so we're going to apply here case 3. And for case 3, we let x be equal to 3 secant Theta. When we get the derivative of x, the derivative of 3 secant theta, that is 3 secant theta, tan theta, d theta. And when we get the squared of this, squared of 3 secant theta, that is equal to 9 secant squared theta. And we get the value of square root of x squared minus 9. So the squared, uh, the squared of x, that is 9 secant squared theta. Minus 9. So just follow the form. Square root of. Uh, factor out their common term which is 9. 
9 multiply by secant squared theta, that is 9 secant squared theta. 9 times negative 1, that's negative 9. So this is the factors. And then these are the factors. Uh, simplify secant squared theta minus 1, that is using the identity that is equivalent to tangent squared theta. Square root of 9, that is 3. Square root of tangent squared theta, that is tangent theta. Therefore, square root of x squared minus 9, that is equivalent to 3 tangent theta. So when we go back to the given, the integral of dx, that is equal to 3 secant theta tan theta d theta over x cubed. So we get the cube of this, 3 secant theta, that is equal to 27 secant cubed theta. Square root of x squared minus 9, that is equal to 3 tangent theta. Simplify this. So, pwede tayong mag-cancellation. So, 3 tangent secant. May matitira sa ilalim na secant squared theta. So, ito siya. When we simplify this one, at may matitirang 1 over 27. So, I put it already outside the symbol. So, 1 over 27, the integral of d theta over secant squared theta. Using the identity, ang 1 over secant squared theta, that is equivalent to cosine squared theta. And then using uh, another identity, or another case last time, cosine squared theta, that is equivalent to 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 d theta. So cosine squared theta, ito siya, equivalent siya sa 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. And then uh, we just expand this one. Meron kang 1 half. This is equivalent to 1 half d theta plus 1 half cosine 2 theta d theta. So therefore, when you expand this, ilalabas mo tong 1 half. 1 half. So 1 over 27 multiplied by 1 half integral of distribute d theta. d theta plus 1 over 27 also distribute 1 over 27 in each term. So 1 over 27, meron pa rin ditong 1 half. Another term is 1 half cosine 2 theta. So you will have here 1 half co integral of cosine 2 theta distribute again d theta. And then simplify 1 over 27 multiply by 1 half. That is 1 over 54 integral of d theta. 1 over 27 multiply by 1 half. That's 1 over 54. And the integral of cosine 2 theta d theta when we use substitution, we let u be equal to 2 theta, the derivative of u that is 2 d theta, divide both sides by 2. Therefore, d theta that is equal to 1 half du. Kaya nagkaroon ulit ng another 1 half here. Okay? So, we will have uh, cosine 2 theta. So, you will have the form of this is cosine u. And d theta, that is equal to 1 half du. That's why 1 half du. And continue the process. Uh, the integral of d theta is theta. So you will have 1 over 54 theta plus 1 over 54 times 1 half. That's 1 over 108. The integral of cos u du is sine u. Okay, sine u. And we replace u by 2 theta plus c. And then... We factor out their common term, which is 1 over 54. 1 over 54 multiplied by theta plus 1 half sine 2 theta plus c. Using, again, identity, this one, uh, this is equivalent to sine theta cosine theta. And then we draw a triangle so that we get the value of sine theta and cosine theta using Sokatoa. So we draw a, a right triangle. And balik tayo dito bago natin makuha ang sine theta, cosine theta. If x is equal to 3 secant theta, okay, ito siya. We divide both sides by 3. Secant theta, that is equal to x over 3. Secant theta, ang opposite niyan ay, ang inverse niyan ay cosine. So, ang secant theta is hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse, so x over 3, over adjacent. Okay? Tapos, the other one, using this 
Also, square root of x squared minus 9, that is equal to 3 tangent theta. We divide both sides by 3. Therefore, tangent theta, that is equal to square root of x squared minus 9 over 3. Tangent theta, that's opposite over adjacent. So, ang opposite natin ay square root of x squared minus 9 okay, over adjacent, which is 3. Okay, so, kompleto na ang value sa right triangle. Uh, babalikan natin ang value ng theta. So, using secant theta, that is equal to x over 3, para makuha ang value ng theta, that's inverse secant x over 3. Diba? So, dito, 1 over 54 multiplied by theta, that is equal to inverse secant x over 3, plus sine theta, that's opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So, square root of x squared minus 9 over x. Cosine theta, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, so 3 over x, ito siya, plus C. Simplify, we simplify this, 1 over 54 multiplied by inverse secant x over 3, that's 1 over 54 sec inverse secant x over 3. Simplify, 1 over 54 multiplied by this, so we can do cancellation, 3 and 54, that's 18. And then multiply, 1 multiplied by square root of x squared minus 9, this will become 1. So, square root of x squared minus 9. 54, that becomes 18. 18 times x squared. So, over 18 x squared. So, the final answer is 1 over 54 inverse secant x over 3 plus the square root of x squared minus 9 over 18 x squared plus c. All right. Question. Some um, example is Sorry po ulit. Okay, so that is our uh, topic for this day sa calculus.